All right, so we're with a game with the newest EX of the 3.5 anniversary EX from a chance. He's an absolute menace to the game. I have used him a little bit, and the guy is just so good. I think I have him at five stars, level 88, something like that. But yeah, um, let's try him out. And we've got a Kaido here. We're going to aim for him using our skill two. And I think we'll be able to easily take on this Kaido and destroy him. Yeah, he for sure has to run away. Unless he's on skill one. And we're in our hacky state, so of course the Kaido can't aim for us. And we're absolutely destroying him. Um, let's just let's wait for him to get up. Let's finish off Kaido. We do have to be careful of our Kaido though. Let's grab that. Use our skill one again. He already uses dodge. I'm building up our attack every time we knock down Kaido or do a knockback. And there we go, we get a KO. And let's move upwards to the mid flag and try see if we can catch. Of course, we are invincible in our skill two um, when we're charging it up. But I do want to be careful of going up against um, our Kaido, honestly, because he can catch you out very easily. Or can one shot you, actually, because I feel like Shanks, he's a bit of a, a little bit of a glass cannon because he doesn't have like the one HP trait. Like most other EXs do, or other characters. And EX Luffy is just a joke, man. We'll be able to. Oh, I don't think we call him out there, actually. Uh, let me be a bit more smart, don't go too reckless. So let's wait for our skill to and then charge back in. Hopefully, we can catch our kind. Oh, I think Blackbeard kind of caught them. I kind of messed it up for him. This is our skill one. I think we get the EX Luffy and our kind of, so that's a double kill there. Someone's trying to back cap. I think that's Odin. Should be an easy guy to take out if he doesn't get the treasure in time. He doesn't. Come on, easy kill there. Shanks is just a broken guy. He just feels like a upgraded version of Roger. I feel like Roger and um. Shanks always one up each other with their uh, cards. Uh, I remember when Marine Ford, uh, when Roger came out, he's basically like an upgraded version of um, uh, the Marine Ford uh, Shanks we currently had in the game. And now we have this Shanks, which just feels like an upgraded version of Roger. And with his hacky state, it's the most broken thing. This guy is honestly a mistake to the game. I don't know what the game was thinking of adding nope. him in. Making him this broken, but it's, it's whoever Bandai like. Of course, they want you to force you to summon um, so badly. So of course, they're gonna make the next EX broken. But this is this is a bit too much. I think every time now the next EX is just one upping the other, and it's, oh, look at this first game. Just basically, I was just here rambling about EX chance and just dominating on the side, I guess. But yeah, that's a good first game. Let's head into the next game. Okay, we're in for the next game, uh, this time in Thriller Bark, a decent stage, um, not my favourite, but still a pretty good stage, and yes, Shanks, he just, I, I would say, of course, he is probably the best EX in the game, um, and uh, EX Luffy, I keep talking about this man, but he, he fell from grace, man, it's, it's sad, because he was my favourite uh, character in the game, I mean, he was the most fun to use, all of that. But now, he's just finished. I mean, you don't even really see... I've noticed I'm not really seeing too much EX Luffy's even in the... Even in the SS League too much. Of course, there are a few, but... Yeah, and I don't... And there's not really that much Shanks. Um, as in, from like, maybe from Challenge Battle, there was a lot of Shanks's. But when I hop into League, there's not that many Shanks's. Uh, maybe perhaps a lot of people did reroll for Shanks. Understandably, he is a very, very good unit. Um... And of course, a very cool character that I'm pretty sure a lot of people would want. Alright, let's try to get that counter from Yamato. And let's take on the Zephyr. Die. Yeah, that's an easy kill there. Guess we'll capture the flag. And I have, think I have noticed when you are capturing the flag in the hockey stick, you do um, tend to hold on to the flag when an enemy is attacking you. Alright, Uso, you do need to be careful of him. Let's aim for Rayleigh. The range of the skill um, one is ridiculous. Like, gotcha, bitch. it's just an upgraded version of Rayleigh's uh, skill 1, I believe, for himself, that teleportation. 
Alright, we do have to be careful with Zephyr. He's definitely going to get, of course, the Dinosaur Stone. And we don't get caught. I, I honestly don't know how I should build my Shanks. If you guys do have any suggestions for medals and stuff, do let me know. Because I do want that skill too. And I know you can, of course, use the Triple Roger kind of um, set. Well, I mean, Roger, Shanks, and Rayleigh. Or I think this new film, Red Shanks, is a skill 2 reduction. Correct me if I'm wrong. Boom. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure you can build them like that. Or should I go for the uh, Triple Leafy huh? set, the Dress Rosa set? I do have the event medal. I haven't really even bothered building up that medal still to this day. I haven't, I just have a bunch of traits um, that I can transfer, but I haven't really bothered doing them. Don't know why, honestly. Just, I just, just like playing the game. I can't really be asked to do the whole medal kind of stuff. But yeah, just, Shanks is just a dominant force as you can see here. Um, it's really, I feel like every time Shanks, every time a Shanks, okay, every time a Roger. Actually, no, really, he just gets done dirty by last year. Last time, Green really got done dirty by um, the Roger that came out. And now it's kind of like um, now Shanks is doing the Blue really dirty. But just how dominant they are against each other. And okay, I do need to make sure we do win this. All right, I think we've just about lost. Um, maybe I could have, I should have been able to help the other Shanks there quickly up in the treasure. But it was an unlucky game. But once again, it was a good showing of Shanks. I mean, I'm, he is just an absolutely sensational unit. I will provide more gameplay. This is just a quick, short, maybe little video just showing what Shanks is all about. Um, currently at five star in SS League. Hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to let me know what you guys think of the unit, what you think of the current meta, and all that kind of stuff. Peace out.